Good day to everyone. I'm Mad, Juan Tamad, and welcome to our video here at Balados Channel. For today's video, we are going to give you an update of our system somewhere here in Pateros. This is a rooftop system, so it was affected by two typhoons, the Typhoon Rolly and the Typhoon Ulysses. Let's take a look at the system and take a look at the effects of the typhoon in the system, okay? So for our first uh, video, first First walk through, let's start with the fish tank. So let me get some feeds here. So as you can see, the fish now are big, no? They're ready to harvest next month. So they're about uh, five to six inches. So let's feed them, let's see if they're hungry. So they're shy. So from the fish tank, uh, we have a solid lifting outlet here. And then from the solid lifting outlet, it goes now to our uh, DuraFlow uh, mini filter. So the DuraFlow mini filter has dual stages, dual radial stages. The first radial stage is here. The second, the second uh, stage is the static. And then the third stage is the radial flow stage. And then the fourth stage is our MBBR or moving bed bioreactor. So the moving bed uh, bioreactor is nice and bubbling. And uh, because we maintain the filter regularly, the media is nice and light brown in color, okay? Then from the filter, we now go to our floating raft over here. So let's go to the floating raft. So for today's video, we are going to teach you how to clean our DWC or deep water culture bed. So as you can see, there's already a buildup of solids in our DWC and our air stone is uh, slightly clogged already. So let's first clean our air stone. We just uh, unscrew it and then clean it and then screw it again, back, screw it back again. Okay, so the air, the air stone is okay. And then for this video, or for this siphon video, we're gonna use a 3 fourths hose. It's about two meters. And we're, not, we're also gonna use a slightly smaller diameter, one of a uh, hose which is connected to the drain. So let's go to the drain. So we have our assistant here. Uh, we have Brian to connect the hose to the drain. You can connect uh, the sludge using a bucket. There's a, he also has a bucket there, so if you want to mineralize the sludge, you can connect it or you can just put it down the drain. Okay? So we also have our assistant James here to assist me in connecting the siphon hose, the main siphon hose to the uh, drain hose. Okay? So to start the siphon, you add water to your hose. So it will the, the bubble indicates that water is entering and displacing the air inside the hose. So when the bubble stops, it means there's already water inside your hose. So as you can see, there is uh, water inside. You cover the uh, both ends of the hose and then slowly put one end inside and release the water or release the other end on the outside. So you create a siphon. Then you connect it to your drain hose so it will be diverted to your uh, floor drain. And then this one has suction in it. To test if there's suction, let's see if we can suction in our solid waste. So you, as you can see here, we are siphoning off the solid waste or the solid waste buildup in our uh, system. Okay? So sometimes there are clogs in the system, so the siphon might turn off or might uh, cut off. So there's no problem, you just reconnect it. Sometimes because of the excess solid waste, you get clogs in the system. So you just repeat the step and then reconnect it again. So James, can you help me reconnecting the hose? Okay. So sometimes there's a big rock, so the siphon will stop. So again, there's a... Nice vacuum already happening here.
So we want to maintain a clean uh, bottom for our, our clean surface or for our DWC because the solids here that build up in the DWC will become anaerobic. So we don't want uh, anaerobic sludge in our DWC because it will create denitrification in the system. And we don't want denitrification because we want the nitrates to be absorbed by our plants. So as you can see, there's a nice uh, suction going. So this saves water compared to just cleaning or draining all the water in your DWC. So by doing this process, you only drain part of the water and the sludge goes or is vacuumed with the water. So this sludge, you can uh, mineralize and you can uh, put it in your soil-based garden or you can return the mineralized water in your uh, aquaponic system. So we won't do the whole thing, no? We're just showing you an example of the video. So when, so we, let's compare this uh, surface from the uh, surface here. So you can see the comparison. So that's uh, almost 3 millimeters of sludge buildup in your system, okay? So let's now look at our plants. Again, because there, there were two typhoons that uh, came in this season, we had uh, very low sunlight. So to prevent uh, our lettuce from getting more leggy, we decided to retract the shade net. So this is the shade net. When it's fully deployed, that 60% shade, okay? When you deploy this, fully deploy this. So you just unroll this to fully deploy it. Now because we are getting uh, low sunlight, we are retracting, we retracted our shade depth. So now there's 30% shade, okay? So we can determine if we can, if we need to retract or to, in, to install the shade net by the temperature of the water. So later I'll show you the temperature of our water by using our uh, temperature sensor. So as you can see here, the lettuce are a bit leggy because of the low sunlight, because of the two typhoon seasons, and the sky is always cloudy here. So to prevent that from happening, we retract our shade net and also, you can in the future, you can add LED here to supplement the lighting in the system. So let's look at the temperature sensor over there. Let's look at the temperature sensor. So because it's the burr season, uh, the reading here is a bit low. So let's look at the temperature sensor. So the temperature now is uh, 28 degrees Celsius. So that's a bit low. So we retracted the shade net. And then our pH is 8.1. So it's still a bit high. And our TDS is uh, 226 uh, parts per million. So that's an okay uh, normal TDS for us. Okay? And then some of the plants here also were stressed due to the strong winds here in the rooftop. So we trimmed off some of the old okra and uh, some of the tomatoes uh, collapsed from the high wind. So we'll take off some of the diseased ones and retain some of the uh, healthy ones. So on the other side, because this was not directly in the path of the wind, we have tomatoes here that are now fruiting, okay? So here are some fruits. Zoom in on the fruits here. So they already uh, harvested a lot of tomatoes here, okay? Because this part of the greenhouse was not exposed to high wind speeds, okay? The other part, some of the roof tiles or some of the plastic uh, covering on the other side were uh, flow, uh, destroyed due to the high winds here during the two typhoons, Raleigh and Ulysses. Okay? 
So to recap again, so from the from the fish tank it goes to the filter, and then from the filter it now goes to our floating raft and to our gravel bed, and the floating raft you need to maintain the bottom, and you need to clean the solid build up in at the bottom of the uh, DWC. In the future we will add ulan. So the ulang are filter feeders, freshwater sh uh, shrimps. So they will help uh, in cleaning the sludge buildup at the bottom of the DWC and their additional protein to our system. So there you have it. So if you have questions about aquaponics, we have our Facebook page, uh, Modular Aquaponics. You can contact us through there. We also have our YouTube channel, Madodo. Don't forget to comment. And like, share, subscribe our YouTube channel, Madodo. If you have uh, questions in our uh, video, also don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to get updated on our future videos. Again, thank you for watching.